Good afternoon, Tigers, and welcome to Tiger Vision News for Tuesday, March 20th. I'm Kobe, and this is Caitlin. Thanks for joining us today. We hope everyone had a great spring break. I know, we sure did. We, we were curious to hear what some of you did over spring break, so we sent some reporters to ask. Here's what they found out. Hi, I'm Erica here with... Cross. Haley. What did you do over spring break? Went to Dallas. I hurt myself. <laughs> Thank you. I'm here with... Brittany. Peyton. What did you all do for spring break? Um, I went to Tyler for a gymnastics meet and then went to Houston to see my family. I went to Ron Round Rock with a, for a wedding. Cool. Thank you. I'm Erica here with... Brayden. Zach. What did you all do over spring break? Uh, just watching baseball. I flipped a four-wheeler. Great. Hey guys, I'm Case. I'm here with... Kylie. So what did you do for spring break? I went to Six Flags. Thank you. So guys, what did you all do for spring break? I went to the lake. I went skiing. Uh, I did a lot of things. I went to my ranch, hung out with friends, and I went to a St. Patrick's Day parade. That's cool. Thanks. So what did you do for spring break? I went to New York. I was there for a couple of days. Cool. Thanks. So guys, what did y'all do for spring break? I went to the lake. I actually went skiing. Oh, right now. He's the one back. You know the rest of the school year will go by pretty quick. We've got a lot of studying to do before our big star test. The first round of testing will take place next week. The eighth graders will get to test their math skills and the 7th graders will get to show off their writing talents next Tuesday. Then on Wednesday, the 8th graders get to take their reading test, and the 7th graders get to take part, or part 2 of the writing test. It's going to be fun. We know all of your teachers have been working extra hard getting you all prepared for these tests. Be sure to do your part too. Today we're going to showcase one of our electives here at FMS. Before spring break, we filled out course choice sheets for next year. It's really important we can all pick the electives that best fit us. That's why we wanted to show you a little bit more about broadcast. Broadcast is a course that is designed to give the student an insight into the daily procedures of different media outlets. The intro level of broadcast will deal with the various types of broadcast media like newspaper, radio, and television. The student will grasp a basic knowledge of these different types of media while they learn how to write script, storyboard, create graphics, record audio, and shoot video for new stories. The advanced level of broadcast will deal with the application of what was learned in intro to broadcast while working in a newsroom type of environment. Students will work on compiling and presenting FMS's daily announcements via Tiger Vision News. I'm Amy and this is my co-host Taylor. Thanks for joining us today. If you think you might enjoy learning how to become a broadcaster, come by and apply. We'd love to have you. If you'd like to be a part of next year's Tiger Vision News team, go by Mr. Fulbright's room or one of the offices and pick up an application. Mr. Fulbright's room is 706 and that's where we tape Tiger Vision News every day. We have a great time in class and it's really fun getting to shoot video and learn how to put it together. All applications are due by March 30th. Drop them off with Mr. Fulbright or at the main office. Mr. Fulbright would love to have you all be a part of next year's Tiger Vision Team News. We'll be back after these messages. Welcome back to Tiger Vision News. Remember that Blue Sky Restaurant is hosting a spirit day for FMS all day today. If you eat at Blue Sky today, be sure to tell the cashier that you support FMS. Once you've done that, a portion of the proceeds will go to help our school. Make sure to tell your parents to take you to Blue Sky tonight. Here's two very important club meetings that will take place this week. The Robotics Club meets this afternoon after school, and the Chess Club will meet tomorrow after school. Both of these meetings should be over by 4.30 and at the latest. Make sure you're there. That's all the announcements we have today. Let's see what's in our forecast. Hi, I'm Karen. Here's a look at your weather. 
It's 52 degrees Fahrenheit, cloudy, winds blowing north-northwest 11 miles per hour. Here's a look at your five-day forecast, chance of rain tomorrow, and nice weather on the way. That's a look at your weather. Back to you. Now let's take a look at sports. Hello, FMS sports fans. I'm Zach, and this is Anna, and here's a look at today's sports. This afternoon, members of our Tiger track teams will participate in a track meet in Lubbock. Let's find out more. Hey, Archer here with Quentin. So, Quentin, what events are you part of in this track meet? Uh, the 400 meter relay, 800 meter relay, and 200 meter dash. So Kyle, what events are you part of? 400 meter relay, 800 meter relay, and the 1600 meter relay. What do you like most about track? Beating other teams. Thank you. Hey, I'm Trey here with? Coach Dberry. So when and where will the track meet take place? The track meet is today at Estacado and it'll start about 445 both days. Uh, how many schools are involved? There are four schools involved, um, counting us. What are you looking at of our teams? We just want to see them compete and do the very best that they can. It's going to be our first actual track meet since the other ones have gotten canceled, so we're just ready to see how they do and um, how hard they work. Thank you. Turning the news from the tennis courts, members of our tennis teams are ready to hit the courts and get back into action. The next tennis match will take place tomorrow when the, when the JV team plays the Eagles from Evans Junior High. All matches will be played at Evans and they'll start at 4 o'clock. That's a look at today's sports. Back to you. Well, that's all we have today. Thanks for watching Tiger Vision News.